Send files for review using the approval workflow features in the Reviews tool. As a document manager, you need to distribute project drawings, models, and files for review and approval before construction can begin. The approval workflow features enables project administrators to facilitate control and automate the distribution of files to project members. Members designated as reviewers can then review and comment on the files, and members de designated as approvers can give final approval for the files to be used. Here in the Create and Edit Approvals workflows, project administrators can create, edit, and manage approval workflows. Use approval workflows to initiate the review and approval of project files. With our project selected and the product set to Docs, we'll select Reviews and we'll come to the far right where we see Settings. In here, we can create the approval workflow. So I'm going to select here, Create Approval Workflow. Select a workflow template to begin with. In here, we have one through six step approval and then a two, three, and four step group approval. I'm just gonna select a three step approval process. This here shows and explains to me what this three step approval process allows us to do. This will route files through two review steps and an approved step. Then choose a destination folder for approved files. Select next. In here, we're gonna name it region review. Describe it if we would like. Initiator, I can select initiator or multiple, so I'm going to select me as an initiator and save. That's my initial review. Reviewers, we can be everybody here, and I'm going to hit save. How many days do they have? We're going to say three days to review. Reviewer type for this next step, the second review, and then the final review. I'm going to be the final reviewer. You can see file review status, action upon completion. We're going to copy those approved files to, and now what folder do we want to select? This is going to be a project folder. Let's go files, and let's go sheet files. We'll just keep that within its phase. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to save this to save that review approval workflow. When you go to create a review, you can submit selected project files for review and approval using those approval workflows. The number of steps in a review and the designated reviewers and approvers are predefined by your project administrator when they create the approval workflow. Back to reviews, let's create a review. I'm gonna add files that I wanna be reviewed Go to Sheet Files, Phase 1, and I would like all of these files here to be reviewed and, for, and part of this initial review. I'm going to select Create. We're going to choose the approval workflow, the one we just created. Reviewer name. Those files were good here. I'm going to select Submit. These are going to be submitted and notified but to these reviewers. Other project members, if I would like, I'm going to leave this. I'm going to select Send. You can then review or approve files sent to you as part of that approval workflow. Now it's time to review and approve these files. I'm going to select something here that's up for review. I'm going to go through each file if I would like to review it. If I look at this file here. Okay, at this point, I would like to start my review by selecting Start Review. Start Review. We could add comments. We could add markups to each file. We could look at the progress. We could look at the activity. I'm going to submit this review. Notes. Submit that. It's now on to the initial review two. Remember, this is a three-step process. Same thing here, notify the reviewers, other members, enter a message if I'd like, let's hit send. 
Initial review two, start review, start review. Same thing, once I'm done with this review, let's submit it for review. So now on to the final review. I have final say, I've got to notify the reviewers, notify any other members, this is final. Let's send this out to that final review. Start my review. Now I can come in here and now I can approve, reject, or approve with comments each of these sheets. I'm just going to come in and I'm going to approve. Or maybe we reject this one. Approved with comments. Approved. Approved. Let's do our thorough review. Once completed, we can submit that final review. We can then see our review status, the action upon completion, progress and activity as that's being approved. We can see here, once that review status is completed, it's now copied those files into this folder for phase one. Those have been reviewed, that's a final review. We still need to review this rejected one and approved with comments. And when a review is closed, members with the view, upload permissions, or higher, and project administrators can create a transmittal directly from the review. The transmittal files will not include markups or comments. Simply click the Reviews tool, click a review with closed status to open the review. During the review process, email notifications are sent to the relevant participants. Project administrators can customize email notification settings for a project by controlling who receives which notification. Project members with edit permission or above can customize their own email notification frequency settings for the tools they have access to. In a general review or general notes for email notification rules, members are, are not notified for actions performed by themselves, Candidate reviewers will not receive any email notifications. Only reviewers who participate in a review will receive the relevant email notifications. And on this table, the notifications table, the table shows when each participant in a review workflow receives that email notification.